Well, I'll be. Bonafide sorcery in the exiled lands. Kronk, you ought to get out there and do another playthrough before it drops. Right, Kronk? Kronk? You can't make me play Conan. I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, oh shit. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> Cletus, sick of you. Conan sucks. I hate it. I hate Conan. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta hide. I gotta get it. There, in there. <laughs> Who's there? You, you can't make me play Conan. Just go away. I'm warning you, man. Don't do it. Fucking head. Where am I? Wait a minute. Fuck off. Against my better judgment, we're back in the exiled lands, and in a desperate attempt to turn what has become a borderline hostage situation with my subscribers into something marginally interesting for myself, we'll be doing something of a challenge run this time. After binge watching old Survivor Man episodes, I was inspired to try something similar, to drop myself into a given biome and see how far I could get using game knowledge and pure distilled autism. We'll be choosing one of the easier biomes to get our feet with, so in this playthrough, we'll be in the jungle. It has just about everything the budding survivor would need, as long as you know where to look but we'll be lacking in a few crucial components that one might take for granted in the usual run. But of course, we'll be on a PvP server, and if raiding your neighbor doesn't count as living off the land, then I don't know what does. So the rules are simple. Every resource I obtain has to come from the jungle. This includes loot chests, thralls, and your generic farmable materials. If I want anything that doesn't come from the jungle, I'll have to find a way to take it from another player. And just so you know what to expect, this run was filmed before the edition of 3.0, so sadly there will be no sorcery. And so our no doubt exciting, action-packed, unforgettable adventure begins in the same way it always does, a naked man in the desert. Uh, that's kind of weird. When I put on my nightmare vision goggles, everything looks the same. I think the plan is uh, we'll head to the jungle, get some basic supplies, you know, like sticks and fiber and whatnot. Uh, do a sweep in Noob River, see if we can't get some easy stuff, some easy loot. <sighs> and then we'll go dismantle fish traps for six and a half hours before we start playing the real game. I hope you guys know how fucking browbeaten I am about this fucking... You know, every time I boot up this game, I look at it and I can't even believe I'm playing it again. I can't even believe I'm doing this to myself. I boot up the game and I hear that first dialogue, dude. It's fucking... In the year of the Cobra. What did you say, boy? It's fucking Conan Exiles again. Oh, boy. What are we doing this time, guys? I'm mostly kidding about the Nightmare Goggles, but uh, I I'm actually a little bit excited to get this uh, this show on the road. Because we're doing a challenge, at the very least, if this winds up being a dog shit run where nothing happens, I'll still have something to talk about. So, you know, content hack. <laughs> I'm actually usually pretty excited to get started. Like at the beginning of a playthrough, I'm usually pretty hyped. It's like I get the idea to play in the back of my mind and the Conan theme starts getting stuck in my head. You know, the one. But then I log in and it's usually downhill from there. So we're pretty much just gonna take everything we can find. Uh, try to get as many early game journey steps done as possible with what we get. Uh, hey, free poop. That being said, though, every base I've seen so far on New River has a hole in the side, so it's going to be one of those servers. <laughs> it's going to be... I don't want to say I'm already losing hope, but I'm kind of already losing hope. Nice. Ah, oh, jeez. There's not even a morsel in most of these bases. This is like the sixth rated base we found on New River with nothing in it. We've managed to scavenge two pieces of clothing, and that's about it. 
easy, like a glove. Oh my God. <laughs> I read that clan name very differently. False alarm, everybody. False alarm. It's an official server. Could you even blame me for being antsy? That was close. The server is located in Moscow, by the way. So uh, my ping's gonna be atrocious. Uh, be ready for that. Ooh, promising. An open door. Vaults. Oh. <laughs> that, that probably would you know, to be fair, that probably would have been too easy. This is kinda nice though. Big old base, raided, it's probably got benches, maybe some leftover loot. I think we'll spend some time around this place and bum off it for a bit. Speed up our early game. Oh yeah. One way or another, we're finding a way to use this base. With a bit of useful loot and some promising bases to mooch off of, we're comfortably entering the early game, where we'll begin to collide with the unique obstacles for our challenge run. In every previous run, we'd make a beeline for Star Metal after hitting level 60. This is because Star Metal tools are the second highest tier tools in the game, but they're cheap to make and maintain in bulk. And in the case of certain recipes like the Lemurian Axe found in the Dungeon of Dagon, they can be some of the best weapons as well. But Star Metal only falls in the frozen north, far away from our swampy abode. In fact, more than a few endgame resources are out of reach for us. Black ice used for tier 3 buildings and hardened steel will also be nearly impossible to get naturally. Keep in mind that we need either star metal or hardened steel to produce refrigerators to store food in god favor, and hardened steel is necessary for tool upgrade kits. Essentially, if we don't manage to find or steal some of these precious endgame resources, we'll be stuck in the Stone Age. So while we always make time for a dedicated, thorough scouting, this time we're looking for those resources in particular. When it comes time to level, we'll be choosing our location carefully, since we'll need to secure a source of demon blood to craft explosives down the line, and the bosses in the jungle can be a little tricky to take on without proper gear. For that, we have a workaround. When creatures die in Conan Exiles, a few of them have a small chance to respawn as a demonic variant, which, as the name implies, can be farmed for demon blood. You could go around killing things manually hoping for a good respawn, but there's a better way. The city of Zelha is populated with gray apes and jungle birds that display a certain curious behavior. Look, look, you got a pitcher on a team? Sure. The pitcher's name? Tamara. You don't want to tell me today? I'm telling you, then man. Go ahead. Tamara. What time? What time what? What time tomorrow you're going to tell me who's pitching? Now listen, who is not pitching? I'll who break is... your arm, you say, who's on first? Which is to say, they kill each other on sight. There's a demonic variant of the gorillas and the birds, so it's only a matter of time before they wind up producing sweet demon blood for us. But we'll have to be nearby to make sure that they actually continue to fight each other, otherwise the server won't render them in so we'll try to spend as much time as we can in the southern portion of the jungle to encourage this, including our leveling portion. We'll also need to get our hands on some brimstone for steel and explosives, and thankfully the jungle has plenty, as long as you know how to swim. So at some point we're going to make our way north to Flotsam to kill Teemos. He's a powerful thrall, we won't be using him in this run, largely out of spite, but also because if you kill him, he can drop a breathing mask, which greatly increases your underwater breathing time, which should make farming the underwater brimstone a lot easier. And speaking of killing, we have to figure out our weapon situation. In normal circumstances, star metal or even dragon bone weapons would be easy to produce in large quantities, but there's no good source of either of those for us this time. Instead, we'll be resorting to an old favorite. Serpent man weapons, unlocked deep within the volcano, are crafted using only iron, reptile hide, and alchemical base, all materials that we have easy access to in the jungle. So with those workarounds and more in mind, we've got a plan to tackle this challenge. Get to 60, get some loot, and make some gains. You know what? I'm in a good mood today, guys. Let's not ruin it yet with fish trophies. Hot tip. Hot tip from Kronk. If you place an item that decays, like our ice that we're going to use, inside any cooking station, that actually slows down the decay rate. So there you go. Take it from Kronk. If you want your ice cubes to last longer, just light them on fire. Alright, let's get out of here. We're going on an adventure, YouTube. We're playing Conan. Yippee! Only a matter of time before I want to jump off a cliff. Before anybody gets uppity about the aloe in my pockets, we're including the aloe scar as part of the jungle. I know, we're stretching the definition of jungle. But I don't hate myself enough to farm aloe. Not, not for this run. Fill out complaint form and place it in an envelope addressed to the name of the hospital in which you were born. Not that made me think of, though. 
I saw this meme back in the day of Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's not even like related to Conan, but like weak aloe potions. I always got annoyed because you had to scroll all the way down to craft them to queue them up. But you can type WEA for weak aloe potion with your left hand and it feels kind of nice. And it reminded me, there's this meme of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And this is how, this is how it was like him smoking a cigar. He's like, I'm Arnold. I'm Arnold. I'm Arnold. Type Star Wars with your left hand. Feels good, doesn't it? Because <laughs> like, if you type it with one hand, like it feels kind of nice. The, the, the bottom cap is like, don't do it with abracadabra. I'm Arnold. <laughs> My fucking impression's terrible. Call the cops. You think this guy ever gets PTSD from how many exiles climb this rock, talk to him for two seconds, and then immediately kill themselves? Don't let me spoil this mo- Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna kill myself. Bye. 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 I'm done. Bye. I'm kidding. I didn't kill myself. But he doesn't know that. I'm feeling a little unhinged this playthrough, YouTube. Just a wee bit. If you can't tell, though, the, uh, the energy is a little different for this playthrough. The blue ballin', the torment, I've had enough. I'm manifesting employee who was called in on his day off energies for the rest of this play. For the rest of my time with this stupid game, I think. You know what, though? This playthrough, I'm not even going to go for the alphas. Nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is going to be a stress-free run for me. All right? I'm going to have a good time if it kills me. I'm going to have fun this time, YouTube. <laughs> hey. hey, quit laughing. No, I, I will have fun. You'll see. You'll see, YouTube. <laughs> the voices. <laughs> Imagine. Target acquired. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Making the world a better place, one dead horse at a time, boys. <laughs> People have asked me if I'm going to keep kicking horses and despawning them even after they get nerfed, and uh, if you even have to ask, you're not a real fan. Sorry to say. Just unsubscribe. Don't embarrass yourself. Really, we should just go home and hit level 60, but I'm stalling. <laughs> I don't want to dismantle fish trophies. I don't want to, YouTube. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. What the fuck is going on here? It's all around the rim of the mountain. Is, is it supposed to stop on meshes? Cause it won't. It's just one ring. Odd. How queer. And so our initial scouting trip continued. We grabbed every single obelisk we could and scouted almost every part of the map. Deep within the volcano, the frozen north, and all throughout the deserts. But eventually, despite our best stalling efforts, we had to return home and finish our leveling process, no matter how painful it would be. <laughs> I hate it! Oh, I hate it! I hate it so much! only been at it for a couple minutes you know sometimes when I'm feeling spiteful and people are harassing me for Conan content and I don't want to make any I've had this idea floating around in my head I'll like hire some voice actors right and I'll go top shelf and create this like super super epic intro you know totally leads you on big story get, get somebody with a deeper voice than me to you know narrate it and in a world one grub the adventure of a lifetime and you know it's completely fabricated cutscenes and whatnot and then when the intro is done it just hard cuts to this just dismantling fish traps for an hour and a half completely unedited you know coughs and sneezes in the backgrounds for an entire hour and a half so you can see what i have to do when i play this fucking game i haven't done it yet but I, one, of, one of these days, YouTube, I'm going to have to find a way to get my revenge on you people for making me do this over and over again. One of these days, YouTube. Just you wait. Kronk will have the last laugh. All right. That's, uh, that's all I can take. We're not level 60 yet. But I swear to God, YouTube. I swear to God. If I have to dismantle one more fish trophy in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to lose it. So we're going to take a break. We're going to go outside. Uh, not in real life, of course. That would be scary. There's cooties out there. But we're going to go uh, get some supplies. We're going to do our first crystal run, get some brimstone, 
try our hand at some demon blood, and we're gonna go see if we can't get some loot out of that one big base we saw earlier. With any luck, there's gonna be some nice scraps there, and we can get a nice head start on our playthrough. There it is, boys. We got the monkeys. Demon blood strategy working like a charm. Eighteen? That's all I got? We gotta get better tools. That's that's kind of depressing. After I hyped it up so much, it, it gives more later. Trust trust me. Eighteen demon. Eighteen what? Handfuls? How are we measuring this? It's like when a kid sneezes in his hands and is like, "You wanna see? I got eighteen blood in my pot. Like units, liters, eh?" In your pockets? It's gross. It's all coming together, boys. The humble abode expanding, loot increasing. Almost have enough boom to go make some moves. I think I want to do a quick scout of the islands before I go, though. That's the one thing I, I skimped out on the first time I came down here. I've decided to be kind to myself this playthrough, YouTube. I'm going to get myself an island, and this is going to be my island vacation playthrough. It's still technically in the jungle, right? So it's... You know, it's that general area of the map. Anyways. You know what? I make the rules. Don't break my balls. We're going to get an island, all right? That's the plan. It's still going to be in the southern jungle so we can get our demon blood and whatnot. It'd be nice. You know, a nice little change. Because I feel like I'm always in like a, a cramped little hole in the wall somewhere. It'd be nice to be able to stretch my legs. Feel the wind through my hair. Or, you know, chest hair in this case, I guess. Are you serious? Are you serious? Really? Really? <sighs> okay, so the whole island plan? This clan has claimed not one, not two, not even three. They've got four islands claimed. Their land claim stretches between these three southern islands over to the docks and all the way north of the island that has a little demon spider on it. What the fuck? I was like, if if the island I want is taken, I'll just take the other one and I'll be an annoying neighbor. But they're literally all taken. <laughs> That's... Ah, uh, shit. All right, we'll go further north, where I'm not giving up. Uh, is every island taken? Is, why are there so many neighbors down here? What the fuck's going on down here? Ugh. 42 hours on the decay timer? <laughs> the loot. I can smell it. My precious. I want it. Mike your calendars, boys. We're coming back to this 42 hours on the dot. I want my slice of the cheese. We'll have to wait till then to get an island, though, but uh, in the meantime, let's go blow some shit up. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We're gonna get some loot, YouTube. Come on, YouTube. Let's go. We might even be rich in a couple minutes. Gigantic decayed base found, we got some loot here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get a bit of a chub. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, it's my loot now. It's mine, it's my loot. Your owners quit, it belongs to me now. Gosh, I don't know what to bomb first. I guess we'll start over here. We can get a couple of them at the same time. Get some, I literally, I only need a couple tools. That's all I need out of this. And then we're cruising. Oh boy, oh boy. Here we go. Empty. Shit. I'm not giving up yet, YouTube. We got a lot of bombs and all these chests are damaged. We should be able to still crack a couple of these open. We're getting loot out of this base if it kills us. You know what, we got, we have the demon blood. I'm just gonna, I'll go get more, we'll come back. Or I'm gonna get, we have the bombs. I'm coming right back. I'm aware that what we're doing right now, some people would refer to as the sunken cost fallacy. But I know in my heart, there has to be loot in here, boys. There's just gotta be. God damn it. If I walk away with nothing, I'm gonna feel like a goober. Look 
little close on the shave. Ugh, that would have been just my luck if I killed myself while scrounging no loot out of this empty fucking base. Would any of you be surprised at this point? I know I sure as fuck wouldn't. I have no comments for this. Please. A anything, please. Please. I, I need loot. Please. You penis. God damn it. I know I said I needed just anything, but when I said anything, I meant anything nice, like star metal or or, or thousands of dragon powder. P please. Please. <sighs> Every single chest so far, completely fucking empty. I think we call it I don't think there's anything left in here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Another naked running in. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I heard bombs. I'm gonna grab some loot. Don't tell on YouTube. Don't break his don't break his heart. Don't crush his dreams. I'm not gonna stop him. It'd be like telling a kid that Santa Claus isn't real. Let him let him have his dreams, YouTube. There's there's tons of loot in there, kid. Go go do some grubbing. <laughs> Shit. Yep. That was depressing. But I tell you what, I don't really feel like spending the rest of this wipe in the Stone Age, so we're gonna go do some more scouting. We hit level 60, we got our climbing gear. And you know what, if all else fails, we still have that big base that's about to decay in our back pocket. So we got, we have a plan B, if we get nothing out of all of this. And yes, when it comes time to make the video, I'm gonna make you fuckers watch all this scouting footage. If I gotta play, you gotta watch, folks. That's, th them's the breaks. <laughs> that's just how it is. So I got, I got two flavors of annoyance in the comments section for every fucking video. You got one camp of people who's like, This guy, he's, he spends too much time scouting. He, he's too much scouting. Just, just fast forward. Just skip to the part where you single-handedly wipe the whole server with your arms tied behind your back. Ugh. Yeah, all right. Okay. And then you got the other guys that are like, um, He found loot? Um, scripted. Um, scripted. Apply yourselves, folks. Put your heads together. One one side says I scout too much, and the other side can't understand why I find loot. So like, hey, wait a minute. What if the reason he finds so much loot is because he spends so much time looking for it? You're goddamn right. Can you guys do me a favor and just get together and kiss already? The suspense is starting to kill me. This is the weirdest base I've ever seen at the Ant Hill. It's not even in the anthill, it's on top of it. I mean, it's been demolished, which I guess I would expect. No loot. Not even a morsel. Oh, you know what? I can dismantle this for hardened steel. Hey, there's, there's some gains. There's some gains in here. <laughs> That's what this challenge is gonna do. I'm gonna rebuild my relationship with loot by getting excited about what would be garbage in any other run, but for this one, it's like, hey, 10 hardened steel. That's enough for one whole tool upgrade kit. You know, I've actually always wanted to build a pillar base on this spot. It's not ideal for one, but I, I think you could probably make it work. You'd probably have to claim a bit more land. But. You know, people got uppity last time I uh, covered the global chat. I, I had to cover it because somebody was giving away personal secrets in the global chat. So we're not gonna cover it at all this time, no matter how ridiculous it gets. Let's see, what's, what's on the menu for global conversations today? Looks like they're uh, arguing about Putin and calling each other homosexuals. See, these are the highbrow conversations that you guys will miss out on if I cover the global chat. I, I understand now. I would never want to deprive you of this. Our scouting would continue to cover nearly every major location on the map and most of its hidden locations. Mind you, this is all occurring on the very first day of our playthrough. How much, uh, how much scouting do you guys do? Huh? Hmm? Huh? Hmm? Believe you me, I'll be making you watch an uncomfortable amount of scouting footage in this video, if only in montage format to save on time. But the loot was scarce. No matter where we searched, what biomes we traveled, what hideaways we scoured, it was the same. Desolation and emptiness, not a soul to be seen. For every intact base that we found, there were 20 that had been hollowed out. For a full server, it was a ghost town. And as it turns out, there was a good reason for this, and the more attentive among you might have seen that fateful clue that I had missed. 
See, brimstone is a crucial ingredient for everything PvP. Whether you're building a base or tearing one down, you'll need massive quantities of it to produce the steel fire necessary for dragon powder and steel reinforcements. And the best place to get brimstone is in the Shattered Springs, making it a hugely important location in the Exiled Lands. We're doing a challenge run, of course, and while I can maybe kind of convince you that the Aloe Scar is at the jungle, the Shattered Springs clearly aren't. So at the time, I didn't even look in its direction, lest I become tempted by its bounty of sulfuric gold. I, uh, I was also kind of focusing uh, on my I'm Arnold impression. I'm Arnold. <laughs> so I was a little distracted. But as you can see, the entirety of Brimstone Lake had been griefed over with foundations, and would remain so for most of the playthrough. In scientific terms, this is what's referred to as a bum-ass server, and if I had seen it, I would have immediately abandoned the playthrough and swapped to a different server. But unfortunately for me, I wouldn't return to this location up close for quite some time. This playthrough in time would become a cautionary tale. What happens to a man who makes the mistake of over-investing into a bum-ass server he should have quit on day one? Now, let's get back to that scouting footage. I wouldn't want my dear viewers succumbing to utter confusion should I happen upon even the slightest crumb of loot. You fucking dicks. The box is locked and open. What kind of server is this? Ooh. A wayward map room with vaults on tier two foundations, no less? I believe we've happened upon a kindred spirit, a man of culture, a man of class. What phenomenal taste. I mean, I guess that could be a dick, but I'm gonna be optimistic. We've gotta climb this side of the volcano just to be sure. I don't, uh, I don't actually think my gear is warm enough to keep me from freezing to death and falling off, but eh, I think we'll be okay. Is this really the only decent spot in the southern jungle that's open? I don't want to get stuck in this cave again, boys. I've, I've got bad memories. We found it, boys. Get the bombs. Get the bombs. Pretty depressing haul so far, boys. Not even gonna lie. Kind of getting bad vibes from this server. We found like three intact bases. And you take, take a couple guesses as to where it is. We found a base at Deserter's Gutter. Wow. Found a base at the keyhole. Wow. And uh, a base at the, at the crevice. Wow. <laughs> this isn't even deja vu at this point. It's just... It's, it's, it's like watching the, the same soap opera from the 70s every single day. On every single server. I don't know. It's not my problem. I told you guys. I'm taking it easy this playthrough. I'm going to have a good time if it kills me. We're going to find something... Something reasonable, and we're going to try to do something before I run out of patience. Aren't they beautiful? I've been growing them while I was out. I'm going to name one Billy, and I'm going to name the other one Billy Bob. Don't laugh, you two. They're sensitive. You'll hurt their feelings. There it is. The most valuable gains. That's the, the total sum of all the good loot we got. <laughs> Ten hard and steel, boys. The riddle of steel. <laughs> I always liked that scene too. With Arnold on the floor. The riddle of steel. Yes, you know of it, don't you, boy? I love the way his eyes widen when he says that. I always thought that wouldn't it be funny if he like, <laughs> he was like trying to demonstrate and he has the, the acolyte jump off and die. It's like, you see that? That is power. I. <laughs> I didn't see. I wasn't looking. You, you weren't looking? It's blood in my eyes. It's things. Okay, Conan. I'll, 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 I'll do it again. I blinked. Conan, you're trying my patience. I'm going to do it one last time, and you'd better look this time. I'm trying to prove a point. Achoo. I sneezed. It's cold. I'm half naked. D do it again, so I can look. I swear. Crucify him. <laughs> I'm Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, okay. I, I promise. No more Arnold impressions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to hear that. <laughs> you know, it occurs to me. I don't think I actually filmed when I got those rhinos. But for those of you curious, there's rhinos in the southern jungle. It's along that little trail there on the map. Took Billy Bob up north, got ourselves a breathing mask, and yes, I know, you, you don't have to say it. It looks great on me. 
goes with my eyes, I know. And we've taken the whopping 10 hardened steel that we got from all that scouting yesterday <laughs> to upgrade a single pickaxe. Kinda big, I know. We're, we're basically in the money already, so we're gonna take these out for a spin. This feels nice! It's been a while since I've mined the underwater brimstone. This is peaceful. I'm just moisturized, flourishing, in my lane. This is borderline therapeutic. If I could just hit these fucking rocks! Is that a... The fuck is that? It's a man! Okay, it was a, it was a woman. I retract that previous statement. The script shows its true colors yet again. A full kit just out of the blue. Clearly scripted, Kronk. Sloppy, sloppy. You know, I'm what the kids call based and red-pilled, so normally when I get this close to a woman, I shit violently and start screaming, but for you, YouTube, I'll contain my alpha energies just this once. We're already off to a better start than yesterday, man. This is good. We got some brimstone, we got some resources, we got a full kit. Things are looking up. I don't know if I want to commit to farming with steel tools, though. I, I got a feeling there's some juice in that decayed base, so I think what the play is, what I'm going to do, I think I might just pack up my stuff and come back in a couple days. We did find a stash in the jungle, which likely has a lot of juice in it, but it looks like it's owned by a solo player. You can see their bedroll right under it. Ooh, look what we found, boys. Look what we have here. <laughs> Wait, is it wizard? Uh, it's a fucking solo player. Of course it is. God damn it. Wizard, if you're watching this in the future, you have no idea how much restraint this is taking me. I can tell there's juice in that box. I can feel it. I, If I get really desperate, I'll think about it, but I don't know. I try to leave solos alone. I'm a loot goblin, not a monster. But there's no sense in farming if, you know, I'm going to crack open 100 vaults and get rich as fuck in a couple days, but I guess we'll see. Just, uh, just occurred to me I'm going to have to hide these rhinos. I think I can just stuff Billy next to a raided base and it'll be fine, but, uh... I have to have a difficult conversation with Billy Bob. Deleted? I didn't delete him. I said him. Why does it say deleted? <laughs> Billy, you didn't see that. You didn't see that, Billy. He, he, he ran. I, I set him free. Hey, Kronk. What's up, Billy? What happened to Billy Bob? Is he, is he coming back? He's not coming back. He's just forget about him. You should forget about him. He's gone. He's never coming back. I set him free. I swear to God. I'll hide him under this raided base. No one will ever know. I was gone for two seconds. What the fuck is this? I just put my kid away. What am I looking at? I didn't, it's, I mean, I can tell you what I think I'm looking at. And I really hope I'm not looking at what I think I'm looking at. It looks like they're about to build a flying base. That's what this looks like to me. A little, little climbing pillar in the middle of fucking nowhere. They're either scouting for a flying base or they were about to build one. And just like that, it's gone. We caught him in the act and now it's gone. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, I, I, don't, I shouldn't have to say this, but that's such a red flag. Uh, you know, no, it's too early. It's too early. I'm already clocked out for this playthrough, but I still got one little nugget of hope left in my blackened soul. I'm gonna, I'm still gonna try to have a good time. I'm gonna pretend I didn't even see that, all right? I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until I see something truly agreed just before I really give up on that little nugget of hope. I'm having a good time this time, YouTube, I swear to God. Jesus, just, just look at this land claim. This is all the way this, this, these are the same guys that took all the islands in the south. It's built all the way up here to this spider island. What the fuck? You know what? I think I know who we're going to raid first, boys. They took my islands, and they're just claiming everything. Someone's got to do something, YouTube. Not today, though, of course. In a couple days. Hopefully when we're rich. We set up a stash location in one of our favorite trees and then set up to return in a couple days and hopefully get our hands on some loot. 
guys, we're late. I completely forgot about it. I said alarm. I heard it go off in the shower. I ran over. I'm, I'm wet. I've got soap on my leg. I'm naked, YouTube. What's up? We gotta go get some loot. We got, we're like 10 minutes late. Oh, man. Ah, that's what I get for bathing. If I was a real gamer, I'd just stay greasy all the time. God damn it. The question is, did they pop on their own? Did they just naturally decay, or did somebody come over and take these? Oh, it's not too late! Yes! We got him! Oh my god, it's such a relief. Get over here, boy! It's my loot! <laughs> I can smell it. He's naked. Like a loot pinata. Hey. I actually just ran through my house naked and screaming. Got soap on my carpet so I could murder a naked man for five quarters and a camel. It's no wonder I got exiled. <laughs> uh, really? Really? Come on. Nothing. Not a fucking thing. God damn, that's what a what a bum haul. You know what? It don't matter. The real haul, the real reason we're here, boys, is for the real estate. Right, that should be all of it. At least I think that's all of it. Uh, we gotta relog to refresh the uh, the land claim, and then maybe we have ourselves an island. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. We got ourselves an island, boys. Take that, you fucking land claimers. I got myself some real estate. I should probably go and, uh... I should probably go finish that shower. Ah, he must not have known about these ones. Although, if it's anything like the other ones, I'm expecting a whole lot of, uh... Yeah, I'm expecting a whole lot of nothing. Excuse me? Where did those come from? <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, I don't even know what to say about that. I I know I know that you can glitch thralls into vaults above ground. I, I'll be honest with you, YouTube. I've never seen this before. I didn't even know you could do that. I didn't know you could put thralls underwater. They didn't... I'm going to have to go watch the footage. They didn't fall. Where did these come? They literally came out of the earth. And they did that, at, like, long after I despawned the... What the fuck? It, it, is, it is not often, YouTube, that I see something new and confusing in Conan Exiles, but oh, mark your calendars. This is, this is an odd one. But I tell you what, that explains the camels earlier that we found. <laughs> I guarantee you the real loot is inside these thralls. I don't know where they came from. I don't know how that happened. But I know loot when I see it. We're going to have to come back during the raid window and deal with this. It's not letting me place anything here, but surely if you try to climb in that gap, you'll hit the green wall, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's close enough, guys. I think <laughs> I think I could leave that gap alone. <laughs> really shaping up. We don't have a lot of supplies, but uh, I was really banking on getting rich off those vaults. So we'll have to do a little farming. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to take some of our explosives and uh, pay our neighbors a visit. Maybe they can give us a little jump start. This feels so much nicer than the usual cave base, isn't it? It's just nice and cinematic. Got a nice view. We're not cramped. I think I'll set up a little a little temporary crafting station down here. We gotta we gotta go get Billy. I almost forgot about him. He's just over there rotting underneath a decayed base. <laughs> we gotta get our serpent weapons too. 
and I'm only just now kicking myself for not grabbing that recipe when I got the obelisk. I, what am I doing, YouTube? What are we doing here? Amateur hour. The plot thickens. This base was owned by a clan called EU Number One. They were the guys that built that weird little pillar as soon as I moved my base and the, on the uh, on the river down there. And now there's no owner; it's decayed. So they must have deleted their entire clan. Like all of them must have quit the server. Something fishy, boys. I don't know what they're up to, but uh, there was a map room here that I was using. That's the only reason I came back here, so I guess I'm going to have to walk pretty soon. Oh, you know what? I have to talk about I have to talk about this right now. It's, it's got nothing to do with this playthrough or what I'm doing or anything. It's There was a comment on an old video of mine, and I read it, and I was like, yeah, I'll respond to that. And then I never do. I keep forgetting. I'll, I'll, like, I'll respond to that when I get home, and then I just don't. And then I think about it when I'm at work. Or I'm driving, or in the, in the shower, and I'm like, I, I gotta go respond to that. I never do. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're doing it in video form while it's on my mind. This is back on the scouting video. Uh, I very briefly showed some footage where I was playing on an Asian server, and there were a whole bunch of glitched bodies on New River. There was a comment that was like, all right, I'll bite. What's up with the bodies, Kronk? <laughs> I should probably explain. This is fixed now, which is the only reason I would talk about it on the channel. I don't like to spread exploits around. I guess fence stacking counts as an exploit now, but they they didn't before, huh? So we're not going to count that. But back in the day, if you died from bleed effects while you were offline, your body would T-pose and become invincible. And in fact, I think I triggered this on accident in one of my other videos. And you can see it happen. And what would happen is that your body would become unkillable. It would just stay like that forever, indefinitely. Nobody could take its inventory or nothing. And then if you logged back in, you would respawn at your bedroll with your inventory intact. So essentially what people could do is they could load up alternate accounts with these bodies that could never be looted or killed. And they would always have loot on hand that they could use, or they could teleport it under the mesh, which is what was happening on the Asian server. So when I walked, I was just doing some scouting, my preliminary scouting, and the entire Noob River was covered with these T-posing bodies. <laughs> like an Evangelion reference or something. I made the wise decision to turn around and play somewhere else. If I, if I get too many red flags in the first couple seconds, I'm like, mm, yeah, let's go play somewhere else. All right, it's time to crack these thralls open. Just let it happen. Just, just let it happen. <laughs> This is so annoying. So just sit still and let me kill you, please. Ah, what did I tell you? I knew there was juice somewhere in all this loot. The script is looking good today, boys. All of our thrall situations taken care of. How about it? It's getting kind of lonely in here, boys, so I thought I'd bring back an old friend. Ta-da! It's Igor, remember? From the, a couple of playthroughs ago. <laughs> I brought him back. Kind of. How you doing, Igor? You hanging in there? Got something to say to the YouTube audience? Officially, he died in a raid, but uh, I know what really happened. He dug too deep. Why do they keep saying Ohio? I I don't get it. What's what's the connection? <laughs> They're alien! 
Aliens! Uh, who's there? Well, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I think it's about time we raided those guys that claimed all of our islands. I put my one kid on Johnny Boy. It's not going to make a difference. He's not leveled. <laughs> He's going to die immediately. But at the same time, he is a Teemo's thrall. Are we really going to miss him? We did steal him. In fact, we stole four of them. We have replacements. You hear that, Johnny? You're replaceable. It's kind of an impromptu raid. I didn't scout beforehand. So, you know, if there's a whole clan in there, then whatever. Easy come, easy go. And if not, hey. We gotta leave some of our honor at the, at the door here. We're doing a challenge run. We're broke as hell, so we gotta get some loot. If nobody's home, I don't know. Normally we wouldn't raid Sandstone, but I mean, come on. Come on, look at the circumstances here. Every time I come back to this base, there's just more. Just more, it's just growing. It's like a tumor. It stops today, YouTube. We're going in. Up and over, Johnny boy. We're getting some loot. Oh, this is definitely a goober base. It doesn't really match all the land claim outside. Well, if anybody was home, they definitely would have heard that. Hey, hey. Watch it. I'm raiding over here. Unbelievable. <laughs> would help if I took my weapon out. Oh, he's not even leveled. Guys, I'm starting to feel greasy. I'm starting to feel greasy. <laughs> Guys. We'll go for the throat, I guess. Not seeing a lot of loot on the inside. There's upgraded benches, so one of these boxes has to have some star metal in it. Or at the very least, hardened steel. I'll settle. I'm not a picky man. Hello. Ah, maybe they're here after all. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> I legit, I just looked at Johnny Boy and thought it was a player. <laughs> You don't usually see thralls in light armor. That's my mistake. I set myself up. I genuinely can't think of anything to say to this. This base is barren. They claimed like eight grids and there's nothing in here? Oh no. Guys. <laughs> I think I just raided a solo player. <laughs> no way. Ah, we just offline raided a solo player in a sandstone base, no less. Ah, jeez. Shit. <laughs> Listen, man. It might look at the look at the li ah, Jesus. What do you even say? Uh, it's too late. It's too late for takes these backsies. There's a hole in the base. We gotta finish looting it, or else somebody else is gonna. I, I don't know what to say. All that land claim, it's one guy? Well. You know what, boys? It is what it is. I need loot. Alright? And the, the solo rules? It's more of a guideline, really. <laughs> I feel bad, but not enough to give anything back. It is what it is, YouTube. Hate me if you want. Johnny's being a fucking dumbass. I won't get out of there. No. Not my Teemo's thrall. Ah! <laughs> I'm balancing my need for loot and my hatred for Teemo's. He can be replaced. I think I'll leave their thrall alone. I, there, I'm still using plural. I think I'll leave this one solo player's thrall alone. <laughs> I already feel pretty devious. There's no need to push it. And I gotta say, uh, the loot is not making me feel better about what I'm doing right now, YouTube. Not at all. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> We're out of the Stone Age, boys. Stone metal and legendary tools. This is what we came here for. Granted, we also came here to uh, stop the expansion of what I thought was a large clan. But we've adjusted our expectations. We got some tools. <laughs> uh, whatever. It is what it is. 
I feel a little greasy though. I'm telling myself I don't feel greasy, but I do feel greasy. All right, let's get the fuck out of here before the guilt starts to consume me. Take a long swim. Let the waters wash away my sins. With our foul deeds complete, we were on our way home. In a matter of just a few short hours, we'd obtained everything we needed. Crafter thralls, star metal, and an assortment of miscellaneous weapons and materials. But the world of Conan Exiles is a harsh one, and our meteoric rise would be met with an equally expedient response. As the moment we had secured the loot in our home, raiders would be at our doorstep. I literally just got done packing all the loot away. This is what I get. This is what I get for offline in that solo. <laughs> Imagine we lose everything right now. One, two, at least two. Uh, what do I even have? I didn't move everything upstairs yet. We have... I think this is it for my anti-climb. We have one layer of tier two anti-climb. <laughs> Between them and all of our loot. This could get dicey, boys. I didn't even have time to craft stuff. I, we're just gonna have to do it our best. We're doing our best, YouTube. God damn. I think everything I have right now is stolen. Besides the... I don't know, YouTube. I'm panicking a little bit. <laughs> I'm not prepared for a raid. I don't even have a sandstorm mask. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> Might as well upgrade these. <laughs> if they blast this out, I'm just gonna fall and lose everything. They're not climbing yet, though. I still don't even know how many there are. There they are. going to remind everybody. All of my arrows are stolen. <laughs> I don't think I have enough for a long siege. We're just going to try to keep him from climbing and, uh, I don't know. We're winging it, boys. Doesn't seem like there's a lot of them, though. I don't see any buffs, neither. Yeah, all right, Billy, you, listen, Billy, you got to get out of the way. We're fighting for our lives out here, Billy. I don't need your dummy thick ass blocking me to death. There's no buffs on him, though. I mean, this this could be winnable. As I say that, there's buffs. Shit. Well, Igor, get out of here. Look alive. Get around the walls. Oh, my. Remind me to rearrange that staircase later oh thank god we do have more arrows we might just make it boys oh my god he's up it's so hard to tell oh my god i thought he was at the bottom it's hard to tell distance in the dark it's fucking thralls on the ledge This is getting dicier by the minute. Oh, it's getting dicey. <laughs> I really wish I had a sandstorm mask. We're just gonna have to drink our way through it. Oh, I got an idea. Billy, hold on to these. I'm gonna knock him off the ledge. <laughs> we bought ourselves some time, boys. Get some of these fuckers out there. Completely unlevel the naked. I don't. I don't know what this is gonna do. We just need time, you two. I just need time. Uh, what do we do? Oh. 
Oh, you fools! They're placing bombs. We have a chance. Where? Billy, please! I need the arrows! It's gotta be right there, doesn't it? Hey, here it is! <laughs> ah, the first rule of reading. If the only place you can put a bomb is in front of your face, find another place to put the bomb. <laughs> we gotta patch out that hole, though. <laughs> we just got rid of our, our one layer of anti-climb. All right, we pulled off the play. Do I risk getting the loot? I'm going, I'm going. I need it. <laughs> the other guy fell. <laughs> we might just pull through, boys. Not a bad haul. Don't mind if I do. I think we're gonna need this more than they are. <laughs> Jesus. Ah, oh, we get more arrows. That's the big thing, honestly. Fuck the dragon powder. The arrows are big. Oh my god. That startled me. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he'd shoot a poison arrow at me. Ooh, no mask. You hate to see it. Nice. We clutched it, boys. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man, my hands are shaky. You know, despite playing this game for as long as I have, man, I'd still get fucking mad adrenaline when I get raided. Like, even going on raids is nothing compared to when you're just sitting there holding on. I didn't even have repair hammers. I had to craft these at the last second. Oh, holy smokes. Yoink. Oh, he had my stuff on him. Hey. I felt kind of bad for losing the, the, the building materials. But, uh, or refund it. Let's get this upgraded. Then we'll have two whole layers of anti-climb. We'll be impenetrable. How did you get down here? Oh, wait a minute. You're not Billy. Get off my porch. It's going to take me all day. It's going to take longer than the raid. I think I know what to do. I think I, I think I'm just gonna bleed this one out. Put him on a stick and leave him for a while. Am I crazy? I swear to God, somebody just swam under there. We may have relaxed a little too soon. I had a feeling that was too short of a raid. My luck's not that good. There's no way I'd be online raided by two people and that would be it. What are you planning in there? Get a load of this guy. Come on, get out of here. Scream. My loot's not even that good. I've got a spread of crafter thralls and 72 star metal. It's nothing. It's not worth all the bombs they're throwing at me. Please toy with me. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Just leave. <laughs> Is it a bad time to tell you guys that I have to take a monster shit right now? You think I can get away with the uh, just doing it before they start again? This is about all I can afford to do. If we lose it all, it's whatever. I'm not a man who's afraid to lose his loot. You live by the bomb, you die by the bomb. <laughs> if anything, I think it would be punishment for offline in that solo earlier. <laughs> I still feel greasy. That's like nugget in the back of my mind. Is this my punishment? To be sieged for the rest of the night? Alright, we got him spiked. I was gonna leave him like that, and uh, I gotta take care of this. I'll hurry, I don't want my famous last words to be I have to take a shit. And hurry we did, but it wouldn't make that much of a difference. While it was hard to tell in the darkness at the time, I had a feeling that there was a lot more than two based on how many arrows were being shot at me, and I wound up being correct. In fact, we would later find out that it was a much larger clan living out of a ceiling base. Because, of course it is. It's Conan, after all.
Also, I, uh, I don't have any footage of this raid because when I left to poop, I paused the recording so it wouldn't just keep going. And since they were already bombing when I got back, I jumped into the raid defense and completely forgot to restart it until it was basically all over. You didn't miss much. It was a lot of repair footage and very little PvP. Also, I, uh, I despawned Billy because he's blocking me and Monster for Stooges anyways. We did actually hold on for quite a while until we ran out of the most important resource of all. Not building materials or even arrows, but fucking aloe potions! Shouldn't surprise anybody either, we only did one initial aloe run at the beginning, and then we stole some aloe leaves but didn't have time to craft them into potions, so we were pretty dry even at the first raid. But once all the potions were gone, we had to pull the plug. You can hold onto a base with no thralls, and you can hold onto a base with bad gear, but you can't hold onto a base with no health. So we despawned everything out of spite. A recording continues with me having jumped off the pillar to waste the attacker's time, shortly after realizing the recording was paused the entire time. Oh my fucking god! Ah, I wasn't recorded that whole time! Ah, all that suffered was for nothing. Look at how many people we got here, YouTube. We got three people in the water. There's two bodies on top bombing. I'm getting shot at from the beach. Ah, I can't fucking believe I haven't been recorded. Ah, I'm not even mad about the raid. I'm mad about the footage. Raids are so fucking few and far between, you know, that the footage is worth its weight in gold. I can't fucking believe that. I'm never pooping again, YouTube. I'm never pooping again. I'm never going to eat. I'm going to learn sorcery so I can teleport my poop into a lucky audience member, and they can do the pooping for me. What the fuck, bro? I'm distressed, YouTube, all right? I can't fucking believe that, dude. God damn it. All that for nothing? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to those comments. Uh, he edited out the part where you lost. Uh, I didn't edit. There's nothing. I'm not hiding nothing. There's nothing to hide. I got clapped. My cheeks got clapped. They're red. They're beet red. They're glowing. I'm Rudolph the Red-Cheeked Reindeer. It's over. <laughs> We lost it all! Uh, well, yeah, I guess you're just gonna have to take my word for it. We made him work for it, I guess. We held on until we literally couldn't anywhere. We ran out of resources. It was like 30 minutes of me swinging my repair hammer like a fucking dingus, and then we despawned everything. Yeah, we despawned everything. What are you gonna do about it, YouTube? Huh? It's my loot. If I can't have it, nobody can. That's the other comment I can't wait to see. Well, Croc, the. Uh, that large clad worked really hard for that loot. It's not very sportsman like to <laughs> Fucking nerds. It's unbelievable. Yeah, nothing says sportsmanship like showing up to a sandstone base and throwing a hundred fucking bombs at it with all six of your buddies. We're gonna make him swim for this last kit, though. Yeah, look familiar? I stole it. Are you happy, you dogs? You took all my loot. I'm just kidding. They didn't get nothing. I think they got some iron reinforcements on my bench, but let's go survey the damage. Let's see what we can do about this. There she is. All that remains. I had that whole upper area honeycombed. I didn't move anything upstairs, but I don't think it would have made a difference, honestly. They had, they'd clearly had enough bombs. Uh, my final stand. I didn't even kill this guy. He must have killed himself while griefing me. I'm even in the shape of an L. Look at that. That's my final pose. <laughs> the first L of the playthrough. All right, enough moping. Let's go rebuild. Two hours later. There we go. It's like nothing even happened. Bada bing, bada boom. It's the one benefit of being poor. You don't have much to replace. We're gonna have to go get those crafter thralls, but uh, I'll be honest with you, boys. I'm thinking about that star metal. Let's go figure out where these guys live and figure out a plan. I don't want to spend the rest of this wipe in this cave. Oh, no. Would you guys believe me if I told you this was the first place I checked? <laughs> it's always this spot. <laughs> this guy's not in their group. They must be fighting over this spot. <laughs> Left me alone, too. <laughs> How often does that happen? Left alone by dudes on a horse. Yeah, they're definitely fighting over this spot, but it's too late. They got it claimed. They're building the ceiling base, boys. Well... The whole reason we're doing a jungle challenge is so that we can hopefully escape the gameplay loop of uh, every single clan living in a ceiling base so we stick our thumb up our ass and wait for permission to play. So if these guys get a bubble on this base, I'm tapping out. It is what it is, guys. What did I say at the start? Uh, employee called in on his day off energies. That's what we're manifesting. If this turns into a fucking slog, I'm out. It is what it is. 
Just a quick aside for those of you that don't play Conan. The problem with ceiling bases is that if they're built properly and protected by a god bubble, there's no way to raid them. They're too high up for the splash from bombs to damage them, they're inside a structure so trebuchets can't hit them either, and the god bubble will destroy any gods you use while also blocking arrows and orbs, your only ranged damage techniques. So there's no legitimate way to damage a base built like this. Or at least there wasn't pre-sorcery. And I know what you're thinking, that sounds really stupid, what are you supposed to do when one of your enemies builds one of these? There's a reason the servers have been empty the last three and a half years. I mean, I try not to get pissed off, because I, I get it. You know, if these guys don't take that spot, somebody else is gonna. Doesn't change the fact that every server gets squeezed into this boring fucking stalemate where nothing happens for weeks at a time, but... But we have two large clans on this server now. One's at Deserter's Gutter, which is another popular ceiling base location. And these guys just moved into the aqueducts. I know a lot of viewers don't actually even play this game, but these servers only hold 40 people, right? So let's assume that these are large clans. If 20 of the people on this server are in unraidable ceiling bases, I mean, how, how much action do you think the rest of us are going to see? I mean, I get it. Like, they're, they're, you have to if you want to win, but nobody's making you play Conan, right? Nobody's got a gun to your head. I'm being held hostage by my subscribers. What's your excuse? There's a man in my closet. He's going to he's gonna blow my fucking brains out unless I, unless I dominate this server. I, I have to. I have to build a ceiling base. It's like, do you? Do you have to? It's whatever, I'm not gonna I'm gonna let somebody else deal with it. Every time I talk about how unraidable ceiling bases are, there's always some shitter in the comments who's like, uh, actually, you just need to get good. So I, maybe I'm just terrible, YouTube. I'll leave it to the other guys, and uh, I'm sure because ceiling bases are so easy to counter, according to people in my comments section, that uh, I'm sure these guys will definitely not grow into a gigantic, semi-permanent tumor on the server. I'm sure they're gonna get squeezed out immediately. I'm going back to my swamp. Fuck all of this. While somewhat disheartened by this discovery, after being raided, we didn't have the means to do anything about it, even if we wanted to. So we returned to the jungle to deal with our own problems. Longtime viewers of the channel know that being raided once, twice, or even eight times isn't enough to squeeze me off a server. I'm persistent, or stupid, depending on your perspective. The first problem we need to tackle is replacing our resources. Without hardened steel or star metal, we'd be unable to store food or farm effectively. The star metal would be out of the question, but hardened steel was just under our feet. In the city of Zelha and in the dungeon of the sunken city, multiple loot chests exist that contain the resources we'll need. Gold and silver for alchemical base, and a small chance for a meager amount of hardened steel. It would be slow going, but over time we'd gather enough to build an icebox to store any perishables we needed. God favor, food, and something else entirely. I mentioned the importance of buffs while being raided. This is because back in this build of the game, buffs would grant you attribute points that were necessary for obtaining certain perks and optimal builds. The only trouble is, most people obtain their buffs from lotus potions, which require lotus plants found all over the map. Within the sunken city, however, there exists a recipe for upgraded fish traps. These require more resources to produce, including somewhat annoying to farm scales of Dagon, which are only obtained one at a time from the fish people in the sunken city, but they produce unique fish variants that grant you all the buffs you'll need when you consume them. Luckily for us, the entrance to the sunken city is located right next to our favorite thrall camp. So we can farm Favor, Crafter Thralls, Gold, Silver, and Hardened Steel while still staying in the southern jungle to continue producing demon blood. With some time and some elbow grease, we'd be right back in the game. Guys, I, I, don't, want, I don't know what to say. I don't want you to see me like this. We, we've returned to the scene of the crime. We're, we need loot. We're down bad. We lost it all. Ah, jeez, and she's just laying there, just out in the open, like, they, like, she just logged in and was like, oh my god, the injustice. Offlining a solo player in a sandstone base? Who would do this? Just collapses. <laughs> and then we're back, doing a smash and grab. Ah, who am I kidding? A conscience in this economy? I don't think so, YouTube. I have a, I'm starting to scheme, though. I have a plan. I think I know how to get some resources together. We got a few options left in the tank, too. We have, we still have access to a Yogg Altar. And we found a Durketo Altar that's exposed and has favor in it when we were first scouting, which is actually set to decay pretty soon. I should swing over there and bomb it. Just keep it keep it alive in case we need it. And we actually have easy access to Durketo uh, Archpriest over here, so maybe we take some time and get one. Didn't I literally just say that I, I, I told myself I wasn't gonna go raiding after these fucking big clans? And But part of me's thinking... You know, it, it's a ceiling base, but if they don't put a bubble on it... Huh? Anything's possible, right? We could hit it. I mean, the guys at Deserter's Gutter don't have a bubble, neither. I'm just saying, like, if we're forced into it, if we have to... It would not be the lowest thing we've done this playthrough, that's for sure. 
guys, what am I even doing? There's nothing in here. There's nothing good in here. I, I'm better than this. What am I doing? Whatever happens to me this playthrough, I deserve it. This is fucking, this is low. What is this challenge doing to me? I want to show you guys where I'm stashing my loot. I'm determined to not have another uh, replay of that one playthrough where we just got raided over and over again in this stupid cave. I've got PTSD. You know, it makes sense to stash my loot every time, but I, I don't... I want to play Conan, not play around Conan, you know what I mean? And I, it feels lame that you even have to do this to play, but since, you know, we're in a sandstone base and we know what happens to those, we're stashing it. Yeah, look at that cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> nice little nearby tree, it's not too far. I stash my loot before logging out or before the raid window every day. And uh, so if anybody hits the cave, we're okay. I've always liked this dungeon. I like farming in here. It's nice, peaceful, aquatic ambience. Dagon reminds me a lot of myself, you know? A mighty, ugly fish trapped by a bunch of mouth-breathing degenerates into doing something he doesn't want to do. Hmm. I wonder what that makes me think of. Oh, not not you. No, not you, YouTube. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> not you, of course not. No, I, I love playing Conan. I love making Conan content. It's my favorite game. I love having to throw gods at ceiling bases in every playthrough. This is my favorite. Um, excuse me. You're not supposed to be down here, human. <sighs> You're a strictly land-based species. Well, it's a bad sign. They built an altar. They've had it for two days in no bubble. I've been eyeballing it. I've been watching it closely. I think I'm going to move forward farming favor. There's, there's nobody else to raid on this server besides these guys and the gutters, so it is what it is. Let's go refresh that Darkedo base and then get to grinding. That should do it. we got enough explosives left over for one box next to the furnace. Cross your fingers for Star Metal, boys. Ooh, oh, please, please, please. Oh, come on. Teasing me, but the black ice, that's huge. That's all the hard steel we need. That's big. That's our fridge. That's our upgraded tools. I don't know, guys. I'm starting to feel a little bit hopeful despite myself. I'm sure this game will slap me back to reality soon enough, but uh, I don't know. I'm, in a, I'm kind of in a good mood after that. Right on cue. It's the same guys. It's the same guys that raided me. Now they're bombing my uh, my jungle cave, the shitty one. But we we stashed all our loot, so we didn't lose nothing. Seems they're uh seems they're a little upset after spending a hundred bombs the other day and only getting some iron reinforcements. <laughs> I think I'll just keep using the spot. See how many people raided by the end of the playthrough. I'll have to set up a shack closer to the uh, the camps down there, but. Just out of spite, maybe. Every time it gets raided and there's nothing in there, I'll just rebuild it, put the benches back. Make it look really busy. And <laughs> hide everything anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be witnessing history. This may be the only time this recipe has been used not to produce favor, but to produce a single ice cube for my refrigerator. Beautiful. Hey guys, guess what I just got? Boom! Talk about lucky. That didn't take much time at all. I haven't even started farming favor yet. I think the stars are on my side this time, YouTube. With all the blue balling I've experienced in this game, I think I'm owed a little bit of revenge by now. Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. This is a bad idea. Uh, I was just wondering. I was just wondering if it was a good idea to farm favor in here. I'll farm this while I'm doing that. Because I have to come in here anyways. But holy shit. I forgot how tanky these guys are. Ah, this is gonna take me forever. I'm farming favor in increments of 30 at a time. I'm getting like 10 or 12 from the dungeon and 15 from the camp. It's gonna take me a fucking, it's gonna take me days to get enough favor together. Pray for me, YouTube. Pray for me. Think about it this way though. Once I, once we get that sweet revenge, it'll all be worth it. And we're staying within the confines of the challenge. That makes it special, YouTube. God, I've got the magic touch today. What the hell? That's two in like an hour. Must have been twins or something. Check out the new tech. Putting all that black ice we stole to good use. Made some hardened steel and some ac acaronian. Atcher. I'm gonna say acaronian. Acaronian tools. We're officially out of the Stone Age for at least a little while. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. 
Oh. I guess I should explain. Tools in Conan operate, they have a mechanic called uh, gathering power. And Acheronian and tools are on the same level as star metal. Nobody uses them because they're super fragile and they take uh, alchemical base, which is in high demand everywhere else. But we're, we're basically, we've got like the poor man's star metal, essentially. It's going to expedite our farming a lot. We've got enough materials for a thousand raid bases so far. We've got a lot of favor, two archpriests. We should be able to go on that raid pretty soon, actually. As long as nothing stupid happens. But of course, something stupid would happen, as this is Conan Exiles after all, and nothing good is ever allowed to happen. Our hero, Kronk, who is also me, please send help by being held hostage. I hate Conan, 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 I hate Conan. Would open up his map one fateful night to see something most dreadful. I swear in my life, I opened my map a second ago and I saw an altar right there on Deserter's Gutter. The fact that it disappeared means they're probably upgrading it, and that, that's not necessarily a problem. Except that it was a Jebel Sag altar. So we're gonna, we're gonna go investigate before I blow my fucking brains out, I guess. If it is if it is actually there and it's a Jebel Sag altar, then our opportunity is just dried up. Because the other guys are gonna put a bubble up. Which be... Has this been like this the whole time? <laughs> There's no way! Ah, that explains so much! Ah, oh, look at that decay timer. 47 hours? Jesus Christ. It's been, it's been like this the whole time, hasn't it? Ah, oh, that makes so much sense. Uh, we've been scouting non-stop since we joined the server. Literally non-stop. And all we found are de raided or decayed bases. That's it. There's literally nobody on this server. And even though it fills up every single raid window, nobody sticks around. Nobody. It's like, because it, what's happening is they're joining. They go to get some brimstone. They see that and they leave. It makes so much sense. Ah, that's fucking what. And the only reason I didn't see it is because I was doing a challenge. That's <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's actually kind of funny. That's hilarious. That's soul crushing. That's depressing and also hilarious. I've this is literally the only part of the map I haven't scouted because I've been avoiding Brimstone Lake intentionally. Oh my God! What am I doing? Am I? Why do I still play this fucking game? Don't you feel silly? Don't you feel stupid? Don't you feel a little ashamed? Yep, Jebel Sog Alter. That's what I thought. That's just that's just peachy. So let me tell you what's going to happen. The guys at the aqueduct, because for some reason they're upgrading this altar like seven hours before the raid window. So the guys at the aqueduct are going to have plenty of time to react. They're going to put their own bubble up and they're probably going to maintain it forever. And now these guys have enough favor in their base to have a bubble whenever they want. So basically the, the server just grinds to a halt and nothing happens for the next however long. <sighs> Splendid. Boy, I love Conan. Everything we had said would come to pass. The clan that had raided us immediately put up a bubble of their own and would diligently maintain it for the foreseeable future, while the clan in the gutter would squat on their altar alongside them. And because the server was at their leisure, these two clans could raid whoever they liked without consequence from the safety of their ceiling bases. The server was more dead than ever. But while we couldn't go on the offensive anymore, I thought to myself that defense can be just as fun and good for content. Being raided when you're prepared can be extremely enjoyable, and we held on for quite a while with just a single layer of tier 2. So we didn't have to give up just yet. If we couldn't bring the fight to them, then maybe we could build up our base using the materials we were going to use for raid bases and do our best to make content on defense. So we got to work, farming up kits, poisons, antidotes, health potions, arrows and the like. We reclaimed our island home and fortified it, turning it into a proper base. We stuffed it full of supplies and waited patiently for the raids that would surely come. But the days would roll on, and after a week of day after day of nothing, my fighting spirit was all but exhausted. Nobody would raid me, and I couldn't raid anybody else. Frankly, I was bored, and I didn't feel like sitting there like a fucking idiot waiting for the bubble to go away. So I chose to do something that I almost never do in these situations. I fucking quit! Temporarily. This was about the time that the sorcery update was hitting the test live, and people were demanding a video, so I took a week off of this server to mess around with the test live and make a video for it before returning. Hoping that if the bubble wasn't gone, then maybe at least some other clans had moved in, and I could do something. Our desperate journey continues. Hmm. 
nothing. Look at that. Must be a good sign. I took a week off and nothing got raided. Let's go fish our loot out of the sea and uh, see if anything changed. I already checked the event log. Our friends over at the aqueduct, they still have a bubble up. Even a couple gods throwing around, you know. It's amazing what you can get away with when you live in a ceiling base, but it's not our problem. Let's hope there's some opportunities this time around. You love to see it. <sighs> you may smell sulfur and brimstone, but I smell opportunities. If this is clear, there's gotta be other people on the server. I don't wanna jinx it though. Let's go get our stuff and, and proceed cautiously. Tell me this isn't a cheeky spot, huh? <laughs> Even when you're looking for it, you can barely see him. I knew this wouldn't be found by the time I got back, but you know. Our loot is safe, snug as a bug. I know they've got a bubble up now and it's probably a fool's errand, but I feel like I should at least go check and see the progress of their base. I'm, I'm just curious, I'm a curious guy. I've got curiosity in my bones. 308 hours. These guys quit? Did they get banned? The bubble's still up. What do they queue up a couple of bubbles and then get kicked off the server? I'm gonna need to investigate. If they did quit, we're gonna or get banned. We're gonna god the base anyways, just out of spite. I remember reading about this one siege that happened between uh, I think the Scots and the English, and uh, the English built this gigantic trebuchet and it took them forever and ever and ever. And the guy, the Scots eventually surrendered, and the English were like, you know what? Let us shoot the trebuchet once, and then we'll accept your surrender. Like, we spent all this time building it. <laughs> I spent I spent a week farming God favor in the godforsaken dungeon 30 units at a time. I, I should at least be able to see the fireworks. You're gonna want it. You're gonna want Yeah. Easy. Easy climb. I don't see any obvious signs of a raid, though. I don't... And the bubble's still up. Let's see how far in we can get. Maybe we can piece this together. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. It's gonna take some sticky feet to get in here, boys. What do you mean by that? Ah, easy. Oh, I hate this part. All right, yeah. <laughs> With the ping, we did it. You can crouch on fences, by the way, to keep yourself from falling off. It'll stop you from just walking off. Oh, we're making this like child's play. Easily negotiating our way in. Look at that. <laughs> Only a few more layers to go. Lagging my balls off now. There's still no sign of a raid, so I... They're just gone. Quit. Banned. Who knows? Who gives a fuck? Oh. oh, I love it when they do this. You can leapfrog up these. I think we did this... Yeah, we did this in a, our very first raid video on the channel, actually. Way, way back when. Although my ping's really fucking high on this server. I'm on the opposite side of the planet. If I can't make this, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate myself. And we're already off to a bad start, so. I don't have enough potions if I fall off of this thing. Oh come on. Uh, no! Alright, we're gonna have a rough ride. No. <laughs> no. All right, I gotta go get some potions or something. We're running out of health. My ping wasn't so shit. I could have climbed to the front in the first place. No. Ah, oh, if this turns into a whole fucking thing, I'm gonna be pissed. Carefully. 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 No, no, I had it! I had it! Come on! Come. All right, my 
my ping. Me, nineteenth time's the charm. How is it so easy the first time, and now I I can't get back in there? It's like my ping spiked now that there's people online. Maybe if we jump first, try to land on it. Uh, we just caught the lid. Come on. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. I thought it was laggy because there's people online. There's nobody online. I don't have any excuses. It's just laggy in general, I guess. <laughs> Alright, I give up. Oh, yeah, I definitely give up. We're coming back with the god coin. I've had enough. I've had enough. 200 ping the whole damn time. Ah, whatever. We'll go check and see if that one Decatur Walter is still here. We'll go get some favor and we'll rob this abandoned base. I'm trying something new this time, YouTube. I think every time I get blue balled, if a clan disappears, quits, or whatever, I'm gonna take all the materials that I farmed up and I'm just gonna use it to expand the base. Because, you know, I, I like building bases. It doesn't make sense for a solo player to have a base, but it brings me joy. God knows, I gotta, I gotta squeeze every little bit of joy out of these playthroughs I can, because the game does not give it up easy. <laughs> I like building. The heart wants what the heart wants. My heart wants to not be playing Conan right now. Oh, oh shit, I said that out loud. Uh, uh, don't tell the viewers. Don't tell the viewers. We only built this because I was worried. I'd pick up my elevators when I go out, and I was worried that if I cut, like imagine I come home with my pockets full of loot. Let's just imagine something nice happens for once and I've got pockets full of loot. I could potentially get ganked while I wait for the elevator to come down. So, you know, just a little, a little courtyard. Makes it feel stately. I can stretch my legs. A palace worthy of my stature. At least it will be later. It's all tier two right now. It's a little, a little ramshackle. Jesus, four and a half hours left. We're on holiday decay timers. This base was supposed to decay like <laughs> 500 hours ago. <laughs> we just keep refreshing it. It's like that meme about the box fan that we just, we won't let it go. I'm tired, boss. No, you ain't. I need this altar. Snap out of it. I hate farming plots in my favor. This is why, there's too many fucking panthers. They just lag into objects, knock you over even when you're hitting them. It's not even that much faster than the southern camps. It's like, yeah, no, he's not free. free. That's what I'm talking about. I hate this camp. <sighs> Fucking Durketto, man. All that hardened steel, and we've, we've used so much of our hardened steel just to farm bugs. She's the god of sex and death, okay. And the, the favor item you collect is called a sliver of the unfulfilled. It's a, it's a vial of white mystery fluid. Guess what that is, YouTube? Vile of the unfulfilled, my cock and balls. <laughs> but that's not weird enough. She wants you to mix it with handfuls of insects to get the favor. She, can't, she doesn't just cook it like every other god. So, you okay, Durketto? You want to talk? Something going on? 5,000 bugs mixed with semen? Come on. All right. Didn't actually take that long. We. We just had to replace the stuff that had rotted while we were taking our break. Let's go get some loot, boys. No! No, I'm glitching! I'm stuck! got stuck in a vault and most of our god just got wasted I'm going to choose to not be upset right now ah oh. no way somebody beat us to it ah oh, this day couldn't get any worse no way I don't know much more I heart can take you to. I'm dying. I'm dying. Ugh, they cleaned the place out. 
Well, there's a couple boxes left. I guess we'll bomb these. We can get something out of all this. We're gonna go ahead and uh, change our clan name. Pretend that didn't happen. We had gotten sidetracked by that development, but our initial goal was to see if anything had changed while we were gone and if there was anything more interesting we could do. So we left a scout for a few days while we spent some time upgrading our benches and doing some thralling. But despite our break, very little had changed. There was still a clan and a ceiling base after all, and even with Brimstone Lake cleared, there were still more than enough tumors on this map to keep it from becoming healthy. So all we found were in more raided bases and decay. We searched high and low for a potentially fun raid and found just one. Oh my god? An intact base? I feel like I've stumbled onto Shangri-La. Like I've been in the desert and I just came across an oasis. I've been combing this entire fucking map. This is the first intact base I've seen and it's new. It's fresh. It's exciting. Look at this. Guys, the promise here. It doesn't, there's no way this is a 10 man group. It's not, it's not like an ultra meta PVP base. It's kind of a goober base, but still kind of a pillar. It's like the nice, nice middle ground. Oh yeah, this is nice. We might be able to have some fun after all. I mean, think about it. It'll be, we can set up a couple trebuchet. We can do a trebuchet raid for once instead of having to throw a god at it. Instead of having to impotently throw a god at a fucking ceiling base, we can use a trebuchet for once. We'll just like, we'll do an incision strike. We'll take the, We'll take their priest out of the altar. That's the only loot that I really need out of this base. And then we can just focus on having fun. Put our feet up. Throw some bombs around. Do some PvP. <laughs> Imagine. Some PvP, guys. Three weeks into the fucking playthrough. Let's go. Ah, oh, man. My spirits have been restored. We meet again. There's probably not much in here, but I'm determined to get something out of it. For all the, for all the time and grief and effort. It's tough to choose where to bomb. I guess we could start, we'll probably have to start from the top, wouldn't we? Because if the floor falls out, all that anti-climb down there is still good. Ugh. I was trying to grab the ledge! I think we just fell into the anti-climb pit. I think we're stuck. This game isn't even just breaking my balls this playthrough. It's like ground them into a fine powder and blown them into the wind. It's getting ridiculous. It's times like these I remember. I was uh, I was actually doing two playthroughs at the start of this playthrough. I was trying to do Space Engineers at the same time. I had to give it up though. Conan just takes too much time, you know, trying to be on for the raid window and scouting and you know desperately looking for something to do in this fucking game. But it was kind of shaping out to be interesting. You know, we had we had progressed. We had made it off the planet. We'd made multiple space stations. Some other bully clan had showed up and they found one of our ground bases and they destroyed it and were gloating, they were gloating about it in the Discord for the server, like, <laughs> the seal's about to be stone-aged. Like, stone-aged? Wait till you see our space Venus. We had multiple space stations and I, I named them all Venus because I have the sense of humor of a five-year-old. I believe the plural for Venus is Beanai, by the way. But it was shaping up. We had our own little ships, our own stations. You know, we were rich. Our, our clan name was No Horses Allowed, and uh, the, the same clan that ground down our ground base, they found one of our, our moon bases, and they left a picture on it of the most horrifying photo of a horse I'd ever seen. <laughs> it, was, it was really looking to be interesting, but I, I'm pretty sure, I haven't tested this yet, but I'm pretty sure that YouTube is going to smother anything that I make that isn't Conan related, just because of the way the algorithm works. I have actually tested that hunch since then. I uploaded a game review for Elisa on the main channel and it got roughly 3,000 views over the course of a year. And then when I made a second channel and uploaded it there with no subscribers, same thumbnail, title, and everything, it got 80,000 views in its first month. It's almost 27 times the views in 1 12th the time. All because the algorithm has decided that the fate of this channel is for me to rot in the exiled lands for the rest of time. Super. Also, you should uh, subscribe to that channel. It's my only way out of here. Cletus can't get me there. Please. So that coupled with the fact that Conan is like my main game, I have to I have to cut it out. I just don't have enough time to do both. But sometimes, as I sit here trapped in this anticline, getting blue balled and uh, pushed around by this game for several weeks straight, I wonder, YouTube, 
Did I make the right choice? All right, I give up. Oh, we're just gonna have to pull our bracelet off and come back. <sighs> Round two. And of course, the base is fucking empty. So I think the, I think these guys just dipped. Which makes sense. I, I saw one of them complaining in the global chat the other day. They were fighting with the other guys in the other ceiling base. Because of course, these are the only two clans that are allowed to play. So, you know, we all have to sit there and watch. But they were complaining because the guys at uh, Deserter's Gutter were using Sipta gear. It's like, you guys gotta start playing fair. Says the man from the bubbled ceiling base. It's the, the fucking... Pots and kettles, that's all we got in Conan Exiles. Well, this was a colossal waste of my time, but whatever. We have, if we can get one good raid in, one single good raid in this playthrough, I'll, we can just brush it all aside and end on a happy note. Son of a bitch. And it was the guys from the ceiling base, big surprise. <sighs> There's no world in which the 10 man group living in a ceiling base with a three month head start or however long they've been here should be competing for the same raid space as me, a solo player. There's no way. <laughs> That's how fucking desolate these servers are, dude. <laughs> we found ourselves another base. But I want to prove a point because I don't think you guys realize how desolate these servers are. I'm going to, I'm going to come back in like a day or two. All right. I'm just going to, just to prove a point. I'm going to show you how hopeless this is, all right? I'll see you in just a little bit. Yeah, welcome to Conan, guys. I do it for you, YouTube. This is why I'm here. I'm doing it for you. It's all for you guys. What do you guys think of the new setup? Kind of slick, isn't it? Figure if I have to spend the rest of my life down in the southern jungle getting a favor, I might as well live in style. So I did some upgrading. It's honeycombed. My own patented technique. It's not patented. But inside's tier 3. It's largely placebo. This is not an expensive base to raid, but it feels nice. You know? That's what counts. We're cranking out resources with the help of our not slaves, employees. Who have to die for me if I tell them to. We're making progress. Just a, a Lemurian thrall. I, I named her Lump because she has a 0% chance of surviving this playthrough, and uh, I don't want to get attached. I don't think my heart could take it. I don't want to lose another Igor. Look at that! Meals on the wheels! The demon blood's just sitting on our porch when we get home. Guys, I'm, t I'm telling you guys. If you guys are still sleeping on this demon blood from the demon variants, dude, I'm telling you. 200 demon blood from a single... Guys get on this every biome on demand it's free it's free real estate every time i tell myself i need a break from the grind i go out and i scout and it's just more rated bases it's it's so depressing makes you think though doesn't it huh you know when i was in a sandstone cube we had a large clan descend onto us for an hour and a half till we ran out of supplies but now that we upgraded our base nobody uh nobody's bothering us hmm Hmm, it really makes you think. It really gets your noggin jogging. Almost like uh, how people swear that ceiling bases are easy to counter, but they just sit there until the owners either get banned or quit. Hmm. Hmm. Really makes you think. And then you have people uh, on the sidelines throwing peanuts, talking about, oh, anybody could farm up a god and destroy it, but then nobody does. Hmm. Almost like this game is just wildly dysfunctional and nobody wants to admit it. Hmm. Really gets my noggin jogging, boys. I don't know. I could rant about it, but I already did. Two and a half hour long video. I said my piece. <laughs> there's, there's people that get it and people that are in denial. That's all I can say. We are actually out with a purpose. Uh, I was going to go check. Uh, I've been farming my ass off. I want to make sure the base is actually still there. Because that, that's happened before. Where we go and we farm for a week, go over there, and they've been deleted. <laughs> That would crush my soul if we did all this and we go over there and they're just gone. Okay. They're still here. I won't say I'm happy to see them because it is still a ceiling base, but... I mean, these guys haven't even been... They've not been toxic. Nobody's been toxic to me so far this playthrough. I mean, we've been raided, but that's part of the territory. You know what I mean? I'm just so tired of dealing with ceiling bases. What the fuck? You just found a mystery box. 
Hidden in the terrain over here. What's in the box? We'll come back here and we'll bomb it later. Once all this is over, that's what I think we'll do. Oh, you know what? Maybe these guys did get banned. The ones at the aqueduct? Because you, you can get reported for trying to hem in somebody's base by walling it in with land claim. I thought maybe they dipped, but eh, it's possible they got binned. What's up, you fucking dicks? We're back at it. Farm in favor in my favorite camp. Flotsam. Woo! Have I ever told you guys how much I hate farming Flotsam? Because I do hate farming Flotsam. Are you okay? <laughs> I've been beaten off by myself in the jungle for so long. My right arm's getting a lot stronger than my left. I don't know what to tell you guys. There you are. You all right? You okay? We'll, we'll get you some robot testing. You'll be all right. These servers never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Look at this. We got another pillar base. Pillar bases are back on the menu, boys. Has just moved in. It's a little more fortified than the last one. A lot more people inside, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Anything that isn't a ceiling base is a okay in my book. Make a note of this, YouTube. We'll be back. I mean, you're a man. I only like girls. I can change. You cannot change your gender. Sad face. I will take the skin of one of your friends. No, oh, that took a dark turn. I'll love you even this way. No, wait, she's into it. I'm on the edge of my seat. This forbidden romance. You can't. They are all ugly as fuck. Damn! Damn! Tomorrow, we run from this war together. Make small hug in Noob River and cook delicious fat grub kebab. Love can bloom, even on a battlefield? Yeah, I do. Waiting, in the poop shed. We are dangerously close to being able to make our move. Favors up, materials up, everything's up. But first, I'm gonna do something I should have done. A long time ago. Welcome back, Igor. It's been a while. I don't have a bit planned for this one, but check it out. I used, I used the half skull to show the battle damage since we got bombed. Continuity is important, people. But what's that? You want to speak to the audience? Yeah, of course. Of course, buddy. The, the floor is yours. Wait for it. 1,000 favor, the ultimate sperm bank. Let's go see how they're doing and come up with a plan. They got banned. People are already fighting over this spot too. No matter the timeline, there must always be a gutter base. We were just here to prevent this exact outcome. <laughs> Ah, uh, Conan, man. Fucking Conan. What can you do? The mystery box is still here. It must not have been tied to the uh, the initial land claim. Well, now we gotta bomb it. We gotta see what's inside. You might think I'm upset about uh, recent events, but honestly, I'm pretty immune at this point. So much of the suffering that comes from playing this game comes from having unrealistic expectations, YouTube. See, a lot of you guys are still at the, uh, you know, in, in the stages of grief. A lot of you are still stuck in denial. You're stuck in denial or, or even anger. I'm, I'm at acceptance. I'm at the end of the road. I made it. 
I left you guys in the dust. I'm I'm at peace, unbothered. I've got a clear-eyed, objective view of what this game is like. I've played this game too long to be fooled at this point. Because I know that as much as people pretend to be hardcore PvPers on the internet, on the forums, on the Reddit, or in some cringy little Discord they're all in, in reality, when you ask for Conan content, this is this is it. This is Conan in the year of our Lord 2022. It's it's dead servers and report wars. That's it is what it is. I refuse to apologize for the state of these servers. It would be like apologizing for the stars in the sky or the changing of the seasons. You are like the child in SpongeBob that asks for pistachio ice cream and then weeps when he gets it, but then keeps asking for more. I mean, this is it. And at least for the time being anyways, the algorithm has decided that I will be a slave to this game for the rest of my days, until I can figure out a way to escape this awful game. You keep asking for a pistachio, I'll, I'll keep serving it. It's no skin off my bones, but it will be pistachio. There, there's no other flavors, guys. It, it is what it is. And look, you might even learn to like pistachio. That's where I'm at. Uh, to me, it's almost amusing. It's hilarious, even. It's like going to the zoo for me, because people, they'll, the way that they pretend to play the game online versus how they actually play, it's <laughs> it's unreal. There's a reason I've never cared about Conan Cloud, because I I've never I never claim to be a good PvPer. In fact, almost every time I get into a fight, I preface it with like, hey, just so you guys know, I'm not that great. But then these guys, they were like, yo, I'm a PvP god, you will never match my skill. Log into the server and watch. <laughs> You are like little crazy beep 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 boop boop pants. Leave the PvP to the hardcore PvPers. <laughs> Alright, now if you excuse me, I have a Zendesk report to file. <laughs> it's like the contrast. Isn't it amazing how every hardcore PvPer who takes the game really seriously is also hiding in a ceiling base and playing in a full plan? And like I said, I, I mean, I'm not going to rant about the state of this game. I've already said everything I need to say. There's people that get it and people that don't. If you want to weep, that's uh, that's on you. That's uh, that, that, that's your choice. If you're clicking these videos expecting anything but me running in my underwear and uh, shitposting, you're doing it to yourself. I turn on the camera and I make content. It's that simple. I will say, after all that, though, right now I think the two clans that are fighting to claim the gutter are both in pillar bases. They're both in the process of being built. There's the one that we saw earlier, which we're going to go check out soon. It's a little annoying that we just spent the last however long farming up favor for a ground god that can't be used against pillar bases and then all of our ground bases got deleted, so, <laughs> you know. We're rolling with the punches, YouTube. We're gonna make it work. Thankfully, it shouldn't take us too long to get set up. We got our benches, we got our tools. We got plenty of supplies just lying around. I mean, we're building a fat fucking tumor on this island by the end of this playthrough. We're sitting on a decent stockpile of explosives, too. I mean, we've got all these bombs that we just can't use because nothing's happening. We might be able to just raid him next raid window. Not tomorrow. I got a couple things to do tomorrow and the next day. But then we could just come back and build a couple treb towers. Try it. We'll do a little more scouting. Maybe we can find something else to do on this server. Which has been... That's the phrase that's been jinxing me the most so far. I shouldn't even say that out loud. <laughs> I know it's, it's tough for you guys at home to get a, a sense of scale. So to give you an idea of how long we've been sitting on our thumb and rotating. Waiting for permission to play. We got raided, like, w way back when, when we first got set up. That was, like, the first two days of the playthrough or some shit. Minus the 42 hours where we logged out for the base to decay. But that was two days in, and that was something like the end of July. It's, like, July 27th or some shit. Right now it is August 25th? Yeah, fucking, it's been almost an entire month, and we've done literally nothing. So, uh, you know, my patience is starting to wear thin. My hope was that I could make something interesting happen on this playthrough before the end of the month, because once August is over, I'm out of free time, so... <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to edit this video. <laughs> I was hoping I could have it done early, then I could edit it and upload and then leave for what I have to do in real life. If this footage doesn't make it to YouTube till October, then uh, you know why. This game uh, broke my balls for too many weeks. Yeah, I'll, I'll have this video done in, in October. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what month is it now? Why, why is it so cold outside? Is that snow? Merry Christmas. Well, they're still here. Bases in one piece. Decay timer's fresh. Can I play? Am I allowed? Am I allowed to play? First four weeks of my time completely wasted because we've got a completely dead server. And now that our competition is all banned or quit, some pillar bases have moved in. Can I play? Can I do stuff? Am I allowed? Am I going to have the rug pulled out from under me again? I feel like Charlie Brown. That's a better analogy. Funcom is Lucy holding the ball. I promise, this time it'll be different, I swear. Well, I don't know. 
been several years of the same outcome on every single server every single time. No, tr trust me, trust me, trust me. Put put some time in. The raid window is 10 in the morning for me, and I work nights, so it's been working out for me, but I have, I'm going to be busy the next two days. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. If, if this base is gone... <laughs> even know if this base is gone, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty acclimated to the suffering of this game, but my patience is uh, all but exhausted. And the K-Timer's not fresh. God, you, you can't even make this shit up. Everybody got banned? Everybody? Who's who's sending the reports? Who's answering those reports? What? What admin rolled over here was like, mm, yeah, these guys, uh, they called somebody a uh, poo poo pee pee head. Um, we're gonna have to ban their old clan. That's per permanent ban. Permanent ban. Kick them out. <laughs> Every clan? I don't think I've even reported anybody in this game in the last two and a half fucking years. How does this happen? Who? Why? I shouldn't be surprised. There's, a, there's another YouTuber. His name's Columbus the Noob. I'm not insulting him. That's his channel name. But he, he had a. He sent an email to the admins at one point, and they got back to him after a, a ridiculous ban. <laughs> the, the response was literally something along the lines of, If you don't like it, fuck off to PvE servers. It's like, that's their that's their literal attitude towards PvP. The admins actively hate PvP and, and do their best to sabotage it. So I shouldn't... I shouldn't be surprised, but holy smokes. This... I mean, I know I say every server's dog shit, but this one's kind of... This one's kind of topping the charts, I gotta be honest with you. What is this? <laughs> this fucking server. It just keeps going. I'm getting nostalgia. It reminds me of that first playthrough. Holy smokes. Not only did everybody quit or get banned, but half the map is foundation griefed again. This goes on forever. Oh my god. Remember guys, the game's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's okay. There's nothing wrong with this game. I, I need to get good. It's me. It's my fault. I'm not good enough. That's why That's why this is happening. If I if I was gooder, if I got gooder... Why do I play this again? Why am I here? What? Why am I Why am I doing this to myself? Hello? Somebody uh, Somebody let me out? I don't belong in here. Help! Nurse Algorithm would walk over and be like, Hold on, is your name Kronk? Yeah, yeah. And this is your YouTube channel, Sir Anistis. Yeah, what? I know how it looks. I know how it looks, but I promise you I don't belong here. I don't know. It looks like you got 20 separate videos for Code and Exiles. I, I did other stuff. I did game reviews. I, I played V Rising. I, I played I played Rust. I played Sea of Thieves. I did all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. Likely story. Take your pills and go back to hitting your iron nodes. Ah, this fucking game, boys. After over a month of blue balls, boredom, and frustration, the latest round of bans was icing on the cake. Despite being nearly out of time already, we made the wise decision to take a few days off just to relax. At this point, I was already logging in extremely infrequently, since it was abundantly clear that in playing on this server, I had wasted my time. And now we had a day and a half and only one usable raid window remaining, which wasn't really enough time to do anything fancy with raid bases and trebuchets and so on, so if we did do anything, it was going to be another boring god toss. If it uh, didn't take us over a full month to encounter a normal ass base, things might be different. Instead of being smart and walking away from this awful server, I'm an idiot and I still had at least one last trick that I wanted to put to use before wrapping up this playthrough. If only for educational purposes. Basically, we're going to be using an unorthodox method of farming up a quick yog to throw before we leave. The yog religion is one of the few that still has a recipe that allows you to turn generic resources into zeal. The skeletal decoration crafted in a tier 3 altar only requires stone and bones, and yields one zeal alongside each finished decoration. The stone is easy enough to get in any biome, while bones would be a little tricky in the jungle. Ever since the addition of the Zath religion, however, we've had an alternative. Using the Zathite ritual dagger on spiders gives you Zathite bags, which, when opened, have a chance to give large amounts of bones. And spiders are extremely abundant in the southern jungle and in the north. We didn't have much time for anything fancier than this, and to be blunt at this point in the playthrough, I just wanted it to be fucking over. So our miserable endurance test, I, I mean, epic journey continues. Hi, YouTube. Things have not been going our way, but you know what? I have a consolation prize. It's the Alphas. We're raiding the Alphas. Look. Cue the epic music. <laughs> this, is all we, this is all we got, guys. It is what it is. Oh, of course. 
We have one day left, and now we have star metal tools. What am I gonna farm with these now? We got raided. Finally. Not not the real base, though, of course. Never the real base. Hardcore coding PvP directly translates into raiding little shacks to feel powerful and then sending Zendesk reports to get any real competition banned. So, naturally, there's no real raids going on ever. Isn't it fucking wild that we were down here for the longest time without getting bothered, and the minute I put Igor in the shack, that's when it gets bombed? <laughs> I'm starting to feel guilty. <laughs> Maybe it's Igor's fault. He's like a lightning rod. He died, I, that's twice in this playthrough. These guys killed Igor! Oh, thank God, the poop is still here. I guess they also killed Lump, but that's why we named her Lump. It was to make this part a little easier for myself. We didn't lose anything, obviously. All of our stuff was stashed in the uh, the water spot nearby. Normally, I'd be trying to aim for revenge, but I, I just want to get off the ride, guys. <laughs> I want to be free. I've been thinking about that time I played Rust with Jump, the first video that we did. It was after those events. We were building a second base off on an island somewhere, covered with resources. We we had built this gigantic compound in the span of like an hour. We doing great. And this guy walked up to our base, completely alone, and started gunning at us. I, j I think about that all the time when I'm playing Conan, because I'm like, what Chad energies the average Rust player has? The average Rust player will farm for six hours, have a full inventory, literally can't carry any more loot, walk up to a fully fortified base with people inside and go, hmm... I think I'm gonna risk it all for a 2% chance of making a play. He failed, of course. That's why I know it was in his inventory. He had, like, tons of metal, tons of... Sh I think he just did cargo or whatever the fuck. I don't know that game well enough to know where all the loot came from, but he he literally had no space in his inventory and was still was, still walked up to our base and tried to make a play. And then even after killing him and taking his stuff, he came back later that night when it was dark out and stole one of our helicopters. Compared to the... I, sh I, I think about it, because then you compare it to the average Conan PvPer who... I mean, check any of my raid videos. Look in the comment section. You'll find somebody who's like, You went outside without six teammates, a full spread of buffs, and a, and a fighter throw? Huh? What? Huh? What? You can do that? It's something about Conan, man. Uh, this game, I'm pretty, I'm, I've come to the conclusion, man. This game is just the Weenie Hut Jr. of the survival world. It, it, it really is. Every server, it's weenies and ceiling bases, Zendesk reports. I don't know what causes it. You would think Conan Exiles, the world of Conan the Barbarian, hardcore this, hardcore that. It's the it's the Weenie Hut Juniors of the survival world. It just is. I mean, think about it. Once they add the new sorcery that lets you teleport your body back, it will literally be less punishing to die in Conan than it is to die in Minecraft. If you die in lava in Minecraft, you lose your whole inventory. You're, it's literally less punishing than Minecraft. <laughs> That's what we're playing. Yeah, man, Conan's for the real hardcore gamers. But if I lose my loot, I'm gonna be very upset. I want Funcom to let me get my loot no matter what, because if I lose my inventory, I'm gonna be very cross with you. God, I mean, look, look at this base that we've constructed here. All the layers, all the honeycombing. We've got something like 800 little loot compartments down there to hide stuff in. We've got so many layers. It's just, there's all kinds of tricks and, and it, none of it matters. None of it. We went, the, we went a whole month without somebody so much as even, like, exploring the base. Nothing. God, there's always somebody who complains, like, Oh, this guy never PvP'd. He, he, this guy never... I've, I've been running around this map for an entire month, and we've encountered three players. Like, don't get mad at me, because these people are fucking weenies, man. <laughs> huh? There's a reason most of the people who used to play this game have quit. Can you tell I'm starting to hit my limit for this game right now? I, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta wrap this up and get out of here jungle challenge the only thing being challenged here is my patience i just had something of an intrusive thought what if you just hope bear with me what if you grabbed one of these zath bags and chewed on it <laughs> it's got it looks like it would have the consistency of like but like stringy bubble gum with rocks inside I'm not saying i would but i'm just saying <laughs> think it over think it over you two my god, as if I needed another reason to get off this server. Apparently the Chinese cheaters that were here before I got here are coming back. Excellent. Wonderful. I'm hurrying. I'm going as fast as I can. Look at that population drop. From full every day around the raid window to 23 players. Imagine being the Chinese though in this situation, huh? <laughs> They're gonna show up. Ah, another western server to troll with our hatch. Oh my god. You guys good? You all good? They'll come across our desolated server and be like, is, uh, is anyone still here? 
Yeah, uh, this server actually already uh, trolled the shit out of itself for over a month straight, and then the admins came in and banned half the server, so I... I don't know what you think you're gonna grief here. Uh, it's like pissing into a sea of piss, but... Be my guess. We got him. Does this count as a jungle camp? It's above the aloe scar. You know what, YouTube? I don't give a damn! Jungle challenge. Let's be real. The real challenge is playing Conan for longer than a week without buying a helium tank and a plastic bag. Looks like we're gonna make it, but this isn't gonna be done crafting until the middle of the raid window, which means we're probably gonna get fucked. It is what it is. All right, today's the day, it's time. We can wrap this shit up. I can't even begin to explain how excited I am to get off this fucking server. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be over. Only downside is, uh, as much as people love to whine about gods on the internet, they're actually really easy to kill. A ceiling base with a large clan inside, in the middle of the raid window with a slow-ass god like Yogg. There's a 0% chance these guys don't just hop on the roof and kill it while I'm summoning it. 0% <laughs> chance. We're only doing this so we can say we tried and then we can leave this server with a clean conscience. Not a moment too soon, either. The Chinese are starting to roll in. <laughs> That's never a good sign. Here we go, YouTube! Let's see how OP this god is! There he is, I can already see him. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Oh my goodness, nerf this sick filth. Why are gods allowed to be so OP? <laughs> it's over. Yeah, I didn't even finish summoning it. But you know what this means? We're finally free! Let's get off this server, boys. We finally made it! Woo! I can't fucking wait to despawn all this shit! Let me off the Look, ride! Man. I can't I believe we stuck it up a whole fucking month. Woo! But I think this guy's a lost cause. Yeah, baby! He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we server? just cut our losses and get out of here? Come on, Igor, let's get out of this fucking shithole. To Shiboba. And for me, I'm going that away. <laughs> Later, baiters! I'm free! Jeez. Oh, My fucking head again. Oh, not this shit again. Now, can you let me out of here, man? I did the playthrough. Can I go now, huh? Boy, old Kronk, you thought you was real slick trying to run before, but we got you good. <laughs> Put you where you belong. In the exiled land. That accent's fucking awful, by the way. Yeah, I know, I know. We need to talk about that playthrough, though. Yep, that playthrough was fucking awful. Surely this means you'll stop asking me for Conan content. Boy, he loved it! When's the next one? We're gonna go past forever. Keep us going steady. Fuck off!